Good morning, church. Welcome to the second week of the fast. I hope that this fast is getting easier for you. I hope your body start to adjust to all the nutrients and good things that you're eating. And also your spiritual body is, is enjoying this time that you're spending with God. I hope that you're getting closer to God. And today I want to talk to you about moving mountains. And I know moving mountains is a common term that us Christians talk about. You know, we pray to God and we ask God to just move those mountains, those things that are stopping us, those barriers that we need to overcome in our lives. Well, let's look at the Bible and see what the Bible says about moving mountains. It says in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, You will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. So let's stop and think for a second. What is a mountain in the life of a believer? Well, I think we all can think of mountains that we had to overcome or mountains that we're facing today. But a mountain is a temporary situation that we are facing. The mountain is a barrier that's trying to stop us from doing God's will. And so often as Christians, we take time talking to God about these mountains in our lives. And we ask God to take care of these mountains in our lives, these problems that we have. But the scripture that we just read, church, it says that he has given us the authority to speak to these mountains. He's given us the authority to move these mountains in our life. So a mountain is usually a barrier that is stopping our progress in the kingdom. And most of the time what we do is we magnify our mountain instead of magnifying God. And it's a common saying, I know that you've said it before, you've heard it before. And that's don't tell God how big your mountain is. Tell the mountain how big your God is. And sometimes, church, what we do is we use these mountains as an excuse. Instead of using the authority that was given, us, given to us by God, right? Are we are responsible to speak to this mountain that's in our lives and, and have it removed. Because God will not do something that he's commanded us to do. In scripture, he commands us to speak to that mountain. It's kind of similar to a farmer. When a farmer sows a seed, he expects a harvest. Now, his crops, they don't grow overnight because they take time to grow. Because if they grew overnight, they would be premature crops, right? And our God, he's not a microwave. He's not a genie in a bottle. We can't just ask something of God, rub the, rub the bottle, and you know, all of our prayers and all of our wishes you know, are just happen, right? Because prayer is like planting, right? When, when, when we're praying, we're planting. Because prayer takes time, just like planting takes time. Now, just because God hasn't answered you in, in a timely manner or the manner that you want Him to answer you, it does not mean that God has forgotten you. A delay is not a denial. So don't stop planning. But just keep praying. Keep obeying. Keep giving. Keep serving. Keep loving. Keep doing those things that you know. Because notice that Jesus never asked His disciples to pray to the Father about the mountain that they were facing. But He said, speak to the mountain to your spiritual man. So praying and fasting will not move a mountain, church. They are just spiritual disciplines that, that we have that will move us into a confident position that we need to be in to speak to those mountains that are in our lives. Never once did Jesus told us to deny or ignore a problem by saying, I don't have a mountain, as some of us might do. Or when we're asked about a mountain or a problem that we have, right? He, he doesn't say, what problem are you talking about? What mountain are you talking about? He doesn't command us to do that. He did not say to go around the mountain, to go through the mountain, right? But having a positive attitude is great, but that's not what Jesus has asked us to do. We need to acknowledge that there is a problem. We need to acknowledge that there is a mountain that we're facing. And we need to walk in obedience by doing what Jesus has asked us to do. And that's simply just speaking to the mountain or the problem and tell it to be moved. That's all we need to do. Just pray, speak to that mountain, and tell that mountain to move. And it's going to require faith. And be a believer, not a doubter. Because when you believe, as scripture says, nothing will be impossible for you, church. Have a great rest of your week and be blessed.